All right, everyone, welcome. You're about to see an epic collaboration of Jared Powell, a psychotherapist from the US, and me. Jared and I shared sessions, which means I received a session guidance from him, and he received a session guidance from me. Both of these sessions were recorded live, and they're put here in full for you to see how he works with me, and then in the next video you will see how I work with him. Now, again, this is unedited, this is completely the way a session could look, or parts of a session could look, and so you get a real, real, real life insight into this work, and yeah, um, I'm really excited about this. I'm super grateful. Thank you, Jared, again for collaborating with me or for asking me to collaborate. And now I wish you good entertainment. I hope um, a lot of insights and questions. If you have questions or comments or ideas, then please write them in the comments or um, in a private message. That sounds great. And so, okay. so when it, when it, comes down to starting um, a lot of it just has to do with connecting with the body first there's a lot of things that you can do with the mind that just sort of ping off the surface until you've connected the body first mm -hmm. and so um, what i'll invite you to do before we even start anything else is to find a space on the body that feels really either stable or good a place in my body that feels stable or good yeah okay by the way can you hear the background noise i can't okay good because there's still some construction work going on here <clears throat> hmm. give me a good nod when you found it yeah i found it all right what i'll ask you to do frederica is to Pay attention to the space that part of you occupies, how deep beneath the skin it reaches, how wide, how tall, whether it's a smaller spot or a bigger spot. Good, yes, you're noticing this. As you bring awareness into it, keep breathing and just notice what happens to it because it's being observed. Do you want me to describe it or just follow what you're saying? You can do either, whatever you feel most comfortable with. Okay. Then I'll, I'll stay quiet unless you ask me to share. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Yeah, you might notice a bit of um, shifting tension in the chest area. That's one of the things that happens naturally. The body it does some things to tighten up a bit before it opens back up again sometimes, and that's normal. So while you continue to breathe and pay attention to what it does while it's being observed, uh, just notice that sometimes the body tightens up and opens up again. So stay silent with it for a moment and continue to just sort of notice which sort of things happen in the body because you're watching this part of you. Now I could be wrong because I, I, it's hard for me to always tell when it's a mirror response. But it seems like there are there's some conflicting stuff that's coming in while you're ex while you're having an expansion of that feeling. But tell me more about your experience. Um, okay, so I'm focusing on my hips basically because I feel kind of grounded in a good way, and they also feel good, and it's inviting to like let go. I have some pain in my lower back area, but it's not really related to what we're doing. It's been there before. 
Okay, so the pain in the lower back area is there, but the hips are feeling grounded. Yeah. Kind of like my sit bones and everything just feels, feels good. Right, so bring awareness into that, both, both that, that area that feels grounded and then bring awareness into that area in the back that feels more, uh, that, that tension or that pain. Expand your awareness so that you're noticing both. There may be a, a little bit of back and forth move, motion when you do that, and that's normal. It feels much better now. Yeah, it's a it's a curious thing. When you start to focus on a resource state, it tends to expand. Even though sometimes then you start confronting some conflicting feelings, nature's pendulation process happens like a pendulum swinging into one thing and then swinging into another. There's a back and forth sort of connective feeling that often happens on its own and a leveling out, a sort of calming. All right, now, Frederica, what I'll invite you to do next, if you're okay with moving on to something else, and are you? I'll ask you that first. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll invite you to think about something and I'm not going to ask you what it is. So if it's a little hard to explain or a little personal, that's, that's fine. But I want you to think of something that brings an untainted good feeling, a feeling that's wonderful uh, without any shame connected to it or, or other things. It looks like you're already accessing something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, now what I'll invite you to do is continue to let the thought feed the feeling. Keep bringing up the thought, hit, keep hitting the on button and notice what happens and where, where the traffic pattern or the movement is in the body. Good. Now keep bringing awareness to it. And what, what I'm going to have you try is this. Let's, let's see if this adds to it or, or not. Wherever your hands are, um, I want you to start making non-parallel sort of movements where you sort of either squeeze your hands or, or move them just uh, side to side to something. Yeah, just to, to sort of we're adding, we're adding another thing into the mix here. So it will take some of your attention away, <laughs> but then bring it back to the good feeling. You're gonna, I'm gonna ask you to keep bringing it back to the good feeling and then doing the non-parallel movements with your hands. Now consider for a moment whether the feeling is continuing to expand or if it's actually getting crowded in by other things. If it's continuing to expand, keep, keep doing the movements and breathing, bringing this up. If it's stopped expanding or some other feelings are coming in, then just give it a rest. It started to feel like a little um, tiny anxiety in my chest. Mm -hmm. So 
So out of curiosity, is the good feeling staying or is it starting to disappear? It's kind of still there. It was like a background noise. Okay. So what, what, what we're going to do, if it's, if it's a small to moderate anxious feeling, let's go ahead and, and just stay with the, the good feeling moving to the background and sort of staying there with you while you, while you notice the anxiety feeling that's demanding acknowledgement right now. Continue to recognize this good thing looms in the background. And there's room in you for that tension and anxiety. And it's okay if the anxiety has to grow a little before it is able to feel connected and completed. There are parts of us that are sometimes living in a world that's not quite as good as the one that we're living in. And it's nice to invite them back into the stream of time by letting them be acknowledged and felt. It's almost gone. And so in that case, b before it goes, if we want to really uh, invite it back into what sort of this good envelope that you've created, uh, if, are you, if you're okay with pursuing this, Frederica, let's go ahead and send a message of, like, send a message in your mind of thank you to that part that showed up. Thank you for being brave enough to show up. And just sort of notice if there's a, a feeling or a message that seems to be coming from it and be open to that. If you're okay with that. There's a sort of trapped energy that we can start to enjoy when we invite these parts in. The ones that are tentative, shy, and hiding. The ones that are maybe afraid that it's not okay to come out. It's almost like being able to say, I welcome you with everything that you perceive as badness. With a sort of trust that this part has nothing bad in it. It's really something good, trying to do something good, trying to uh, either save you or save itself. Yeah, it was something that um, needed 
gentleness and um, like slower movements, protection. How did it feel to be able to have that communication with that part of you? It's soft, it feels good. Now consider, I mean, if you bring your awareness back to your hips, that grounded area that you had felt earlier, uh, what happens as you bring awareness into the hips and then back to this part of you that you felt that was a little anxious and needed the softness? Yeah, this almost feels like a hug to it. Uh huh. Stay with that. Continue to breathe and sort of feed it with your with your breathing. Well, that sort of that, that holding happens. It sort of needs enough time to finish feeling itself. If you haven't already, stretch your awareness beyond the space where that holding or that sort of hug feeling is so that it's like you're able to be in the part that's able to watch the hug and comprehend the hug. Say that again. <laughs> so that you can be uh, sort of viewing it from the place where you're able to notice it, completely notice the hug. Even a person with your developed talent for bringing awareness to this kind of thing is going to sometimes have your mind pulled out. And notice that when it happens and just be a good dance partner with it and pull on back in. The distraction or the pulling out is, is, uh, is a part of the process that you can uh, engage with, letting yourself be pulled out and then to come back in. I'm I'm yeah, I was going to suggest that there's probably parts of you that don't want to be seen by me, that don't want to be noticed by me, that kind of want to be able to do their own thing without so much, without anybody invading or, or uh, bringing their awareness in there. And so if so, I just kind of want to acknowledge that and just say, that's fine. That's fine. Take the space that you need and you were about to bring something up Frederica. yeah i'm wondering because i i started feeling like i'm patient uh -huh. 
and I'm my feeling is that this is something that um, needs to be like that is not going to be like resolved now but in the process of life like by me actually making sure that this part of me is being like these emotions are being respected and seen and taken care of like oh. the needs that are associated with it um I'm not sure if this can be like if sitting with this this way is all it takes. Right. That's and that's that's great. If that's kind of that feeling you get, that restlessness, that need to 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 let this sit for now and go and do your live your life and create things <laughs> and do things, let them engage with you and while while you're on your feet, you know, um, it's if, if that kind of seems to be the message, that's totally understandable um the way the way that i experience it on my end is going to be different I, i'm going to have these mirror responses when you were engaging earlier uh with the feelings I, I could feel this this expansive sort of releasing connecting energetic movement and then there was this other thing this sort of um i mean on on my end what it feels like is don't don't come in here <laughs> you can't okay don't feel this with me this is this is mine to work on get out you know and and in which case I, I, I always want to respect that you know to to appreciate that and for you it's like you're noticing wow I have this part of me that's sort of restless with this it wants to if I'm understanding right it wants to have me go and, and create things and do things and work with me when I'm when I'm out there uh, making life happen am I hearing you yeah I think before because before um you know, I was kind of breathing and you said like, like you can get distracted and, and so on. My heart space started feeling really warm and I'm like, okay, yeah, we're good. You know, in a way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in which case uh, you, you've got a, a really great flow of communication going with this part. Let's go ahead and just, just, um, just to do sort of a check inside. Uh, send a message to, to that part of you saying pretty much what you were saying that is it kind of seems like you really want to work with me more when we're out doing stuff instead of here and just see what kind of response you get mm -hmm. Yeah, I do have to stay there for a little bit more. It's like, yes, but. <laughs> All right. Yeah, don't abandon this part then. <laughs> if it's ready to be reached, let's reach. Don't forget about the shape of your body. The limit is useful.
everything soothing, calming, loving, or gentle makes room for the stuff that doesn't have that sort of softness to it that needs to be invited in and appreciated. There is a part of you that longs for completeness that doesn't, um, that can't be satisfied with only what we think of as positive. I just received a reminder, you know, that a lot of the things that are happening in my life now are super positive, but it's still a lot. There's a lot of things to organize and to think about and to feel and to do and whatever. And that, you know, somehow I'm expecting of myself to like figure it all out and just do, 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 but like, to remember that, you know, I'm a sensitive person, so this is a lot, and to seek kind of calm moments or support or, yeah. Right, so for you, you're just feeling this need to have that regenerative calm, that time to slow down. Sometimes too much is just too much, even if it's good. Yeah, I still have been there for a lot of people as well. And I have to always remind myself to um, ask for support myself or let other people take care of me as well. Mm. Yeah, there's, there's a certain uh, intimacy in, in asking for help and vulnerability that when, when you've been living a bigger life and, and uh, doing more, sometimes it's hard to continue to acknowledge. It takes some work to continue to acknowledge the parts of you that are ready to be vulnerable and to receive and to ask, yeah. I want to give myself a hug. <laughs> yeah. My general feeling is to just not get in the way of what 
what's happening inside of you. It's like, it knows what to do. Man, the noise here is terrible. I hope you don't hear it. <laughs> <laughs> Every now and I hear uh, now now and again I hear a little thump or a or a, a movement, but that's about it. Yeah, I keep getting the sense, Frederico, that I simply don't need to tell you what to do. <laughs> oh my god, this is exactly what I needed to hear. <laughs> And I suppose whatever's just been sort of unleashed here, uh, that good's going to come of it. Was there something you wanted to do before I open my eyes again? Um, no, that's, that's fine. You can go ahead and open your eyes when you're ready. I can still feel like waves from whatever that just was. good. I'm so excited now. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> it's, it's, it's lifting me up. I mean, this is really, this is really I appreciate this moment that, that we're having here. <laughs> I, oh my God. I didn't know I needed to hear this so much. Oh. You know how validating for some part of you that just is like, yeah, <laughs> yes, you don't need to tell me what to do. And this is, I know what to do. Thank you. Because everybody else does. Like you have a session and then it's always like, now you do this, now you do that. I know this about you. I know that about you. And it's like, no, like leave me the fuck alone. Like, I know what to do. Right. Hmm. <laughs> <sighs> but that's not to say I'm very grateful for, um, the guidance to that point. Sure. Yeah, there's there's a lot we learn from different people's uh, methods and guidance for sure. No, your guidance, I meant. Like, oh, gotcha. <laughs> I feel like I have to, hello, shake yeah. myself out. <laughs> yeah, get all regrounded. Hey, that was cool.